All right, so to get started on returns, what we're going to do is we're going to have to be logged into Airtable, and then we're going to have to be logged into SAP. So what we're going to do is we're going to start an Airtable and go to the new returns. Um, this should come up. I'm going to change the mobile entry view to the processing view. And what I like to do, what you don't have to, is I like to go over to this SAP column. I right click on the top and I get grouped by this field. So what that's going to do is it's going to separate um, it's going to separate these any return that hasn't had this SAP box clicked, which means it's been processed. Um, any of those that haven't been processed will be grouped up and put at the top, which is super handy. Um, and it's just a little easier to use. So the first one we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do uh, returns that will come from either return to senders, Bloomingdale's, Dillard's, Pottery Barn. Um, it'll be either from a, a vendor or it'll be a return to sender. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this Bloomingdale's return that we've already made in Airtable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Hold on. I'm going to pull up this one down here. So I'm going to take this, which is the RMA claim number. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to go into SAP and I'm going to do the type in the transaction NVA02. Oopsies. NVA02. We're going to go into there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this. I'm going to go more bigger, tab, clear, boom. We're going to search this. And what that's going to do is pull up this little thing. And so this is your order. You're going to click the enter. It'll pop up this little thing. Consider the subsequent documents. We're going to say yep to that. And then this is the order. So this is the order that they filled out uh, from Bloomingdale's. And so what we're going to do is check that this whatever's in the material is the same item we have so pip it indigo, pip it indigo, good then what we're going to do is go up here to the document flow and we're going to click this US invoice number it'll always start um, with a 9 and this is what we're going to need to make a return so we're going to copy this and then we're going to go into the second transaction which is the last one we'll need for this which is uh, VA01. I'm going to enter that. Okay, so the order type, this is where we're going to start and like actually create the return. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this order type, it's going to be ZRE3, which as you can say means US return with credit memo number. So what we're going to do is go up here to create with reference. We're going to go to the billing document and we're going to paste that number that we just copied. And then we're going to press copy it's going to put up another little pop-up that's okay we're going to set continue alright so what we got here is your actual return so what we're going to do is we're going to need to fill out some information um, and then this is all uh, we're going to need to do so I'm going to go up here to the PO number I'm going to take the claim number again and I'm going to copy it up here then I'm going to go over here to the PO date and I'm going to type in the date, which is the 27th, 2018. And then I'm going to go to the order reason and I'm going to type RET, damaged product, press enter. That's going to pop up there. As you can see, our product is already in there. We don't have to do anything with that. I'm going to come up here and copy the. Uh, the net value and put it in the credit credit memo total that's just for our end and then I'm gonna go down to the customer name and look up right here and that's Michelle um, for I don't know how to say your last name alright there we got that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're going to take these delivery blocks and we're going to clear them out. So I do 
space tab space and that should clear them out and then we're going to go over to this little red right here boop 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 if you ever mess up you could click this green it'll take you back so we're going to click on this red one we're going to go over to texts and this is where you can put in kind of the reason for the return I just put in processed and then the date 27 oh what the heck uh, 7 27 18 and processed 7 27 18 cool and what we're going to do all the we have filled out for this order is done so what you're going to do is go to sales document you're going to go to deliver All right, this will pull up this, which is pretty much just a summary of what you're trying to deliver. I'm going to, and then you click post goods receipt. Boom. All right. So now you're done. This little number right here is the credit, me the credit memo number that it's created for your return. We're going to copy this over. We're going to put it in here. And then we're going to click on this SAP key little box. And what you've done is you've like successfully created a return and you finish. So what you can do is you can take this number you can go back to NV802 which is right here and here's your return and you can check it and it should pull up just fine. So now I'm going to show you how to do one that's only for Nordstrom. So this will only work for Nordstrom um, but since we get such a high volume of Nordstrom, you need to know how to do that. So we're going to skip going to NVA02. We're going to go straight to NVA01. And what we're going to do from here is you're not going to press anything with create a reference. You're just going to go to this page and you're going to press enter. And what this will do is going to be set you up with a completely blank return. So we're going to go to this Nordstrom order, which we have an air table. We're going to open it up. And then we're going to take the info from here and copy it on. So what you're going to do to here is you're going to go to the sold to party. And then you're going to go and put in one. You're going to put in 10,000. And as you can see, that pulls up this, which is Nordstrom Inc. That's their sold to party code. We're going to click that. And we're going to go again. That'll pull up that, Nordstrom, boom. We're going to take the RMA claim number, copy it over to the PO, just like we did on the other one. Then we're going to put in the date right there, done. We're going to go over here, we're going to go to RET, done. And then you're going to have to put in the materials yourself, which is not hard. So what we have is here's our returns that we got back, and we're just going to put them in manually. So... A D O three O O one and then order quantity one. So I'm gonna fill in the rest and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you see we got the same ones copied. Um here we have two of the same product that we had to enter separately in <coughs> in Airtable, but we could do it uh the same in the SAP. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to press enter. It's going to give you this which says like it'll circle around this complete DLV thing. Ignore that and just press enter again. Alright so here we go. So it has taken a note of everything we have and it's on the top is giving you a net value. Just the same. Copy that. And then clear these delivery blocks. And then we're just going to follow the steps just like the other one. Go over here. Processed. 7. 27. 18. Go up to the sales document. Deliver. Deliver. 
it's going to give you this again, post goods receipt, click that, boom, here's your credit memo number, uh, Nordstrom usually pops up this print, cancel that, you don't need it, you're going to copy that into here, and just like that, you're done, one more return, that's done, click the SAP box, and that return is done, alright, so, that one's a little more straightforward, not as many steps. And so for this last one, we're going to do customer service orders. Now these are orders that already have their own um, number, their own credit memo number. So these are going to go the fastest out of each one. So you're going to go back to NVA02, click that. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull up a consumer or customer service order in Airtable, one that already has a credit memo number. We're going to copy the credit me the memo number and you're going to put it in place of the order number right there. And we're going to search. All right. So this is a return that's already been made. Um, all you have to do is finalize it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take notes of a few things. So we're going to copy this, which is the order number. We're going to put it in the RMA. And then we're going to take the money, make sure that it's the same product, which it is. We're going to put that in the credit memo total. And then what you have to do is you're going to take and clear the delivery blocks. And then go back into here, click it, expand. You can check the text. So as you can see, someone else has put in uh, the reason for their returning. Um, you can read it if you like and then you're going to go to the billing document right here click that and then you're going to take the billing date you're going to delete it and you're going to change the billing date to the date uh, of the you processing the return so I'm going to change the billing date to today's date I'm going to press enter and then what I'm going to do is from here, as you can see, the retailer is consumer, but we need to figure out what the actual retailer is. So as you, we go up here, it says Nuna Direct. If it's a customer service order, which is different than Nuna Direct, it will have uh, the customer service code up here. So we're going to go take this retailer out, link it to retailer, go Nuna Direct. All right. So this customer service, here's customer service, and here's Nuna Direct. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Nuna Direct one. That will copy that one. We're going to go back, snag the name. And then, just the same as everything else, you're going to deliver it. Sales document, deliver. All right, it's going to give you this. Go post goods receipt. Boom. So obviously we already have this number, but now that it's been processed, you can connect it and click the little SAP button. And then you're done. So those are all three of the types, pretty much the only types you're going to need to really be filling out normal uh, returns. And with all those, you should be able to do it no problem. It kind of looks like a lot of steps now, but once you get used to it, uh, it'll go fast. Boom.